Oh shoot. <laughs> I forgot I put a mask on this morning. Hang on, I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna cut it today. <laughs> Let's try this again. Much better. Wouldn't you say? That's better. I don't even want to put mascara on because there's almost no point in that. <laughs> if I put makeup on, I don't pick at my face. My face is having a problem. It's probably stress from the quarantine, but you know. So, I'm gonna have breakfast. All right, so I've got kids asleep, so I'm trying to be quiet eating breakfast. I'm here in my office. I'm gonna watch a show on the computer. But I've got some strawberries and some oatmeal and my breakfast drink right there. So let's turn on something to watch. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually gonna, I didn't do my hair yesterday. I washed it and then put it up in this for curls. Oh, Jason's on the phone, hang on. So I did the gel so it can be curly today. And we're gonna go, um, I don't have any plans today. What am I kidding? <laughs> don't have any plans. But let's see if we can fix this situation. I don't mind it being up, but if I put gel in it, I don't want it to be pulled up tight like that. I don't want to damage my hair, so. Yeah, that's a lot of curl. Kind of went flat right there. Gotta fix that out. Do your kids ever call you from upstairs? Yes, Kaylee? Yeah. What? Can you turn the Wi-Fi off and back on again? <laughs> How about you get your butt out of bed and come do it yourself? No, because I'm trying to do homework. Oh, you're going to use homework as your excuse now. All right. That's going to have to do. I'll probably end up pulling it up later, let's be honest. <laughs> but it's time for schoolwork. I've got to see if I can convince. Ashley, are you coming? <laughs> I'll go turn on your computer. She's the, oh, the internet went out. That's what got the teenager down here. <laughs> Just like last night. Oh, I wanted to tell you, I'm gonna get her logged on to her schoolwork and then I will show you what I've been working on. If you are following me on Instagram, you already saw the new little talent that I picked up during quarantine. I might actually do some more today because it's kind of addicting and it's very relaxing and I can still watch Netflix while I do it. So it's kind of best of both worlds. Um, but let me get her logged on to schoolwork, right? Someone doesn't want to do schoolwork this week. Did you do Brady's in your hair? Mm-hmm. That's even day two, huh? Got an apple? Oh, strawberries. Yum? Okay, let me get her logged on and then I'll show you what I've been doing. <laughs> okay, before I show you what I've been doing, Jason just got masks in the mail. Do you want to uh, model the masks you just got? My hair's bad. Oh, you're not going to do it though, are you? I don't know. I need a haircut. We need to go find a razor. They're in limited supplies these days. We can go run and look at Costco, but I don't want to just go My for... My sister said she couldn't find one, but... Right. Anyways, so these are from a friend of mine who's been making... She's been making thousands shows. of them. Yeah. She's uh, an accountant by trade, but a... Seamstress. Mask maker by night or something. Yeah. So he's got a... It's a... Oh, through. put it back up. Hang on. Out. i got to show the design. Star well, first Wars. First, let me put it on. There you go. But then you can untie it, and what does it do? Then you can go like this, and, and it stays it there because you don't want to touch the front of the mask. So it yeah. allows you to take it on and off without having to like touch it and do what you do with all the other masks. That's what I do. Yeah. All right. So we were we're still kind of working through um, homework. Ashley's doing an online math program. Okay, you finish that. You're almost done. She's also eating some Cheerios. Let me show you what I've been working on. All right, so I've taken up some watercoloring. <laughs> this is my first one, and I don't know, I kind of think it's pretty good. On camera, it probably looks a lot better than it does in person, which is kind of nice. So this is the first palm tree beach scene that I did, and then this is the second one that I did, trying to learn how to do this little wave on the beach on the sand kind of effect. And then this is the last one that I did last night. I kind of want a combination of these two palm trees because this one has a lot of good wispies on it, but I liked the color and the detail on this one more. So I'm kind of practice and get better at it. So I did the little wave effect down here with a little bit of sand and then the water and the background. I actually did the palm tree first on this one. So it kind of made filling in the blue a little bit harder but it's just been fun so the first time i did it i did it during a 
girls craft night, a virtual craft night, which is super fun. Cause we always like have craft nights in general with this group of friends. And like we each bring our own craft that we're working on or a project or someone's sometimes just organizing their photos or like this week, a friend was going through her craft supplies cause she has tons of time and she's trying to organize and declutter. So she was just going through her craft supplies and donating them to whoever was on the Zoom call. And then I was working on these watercoloring. And then last night I had a book club. And so I just kind of pulled out the paint supply then and started painting while we did book club on online, of course, not in person and had done one in the afternoon as well. And it's just really relaxing. And I'm now I see why Chelsea kind of wanted all these supplies for her birthday. So now I'm going to have to buy her some more because I'm kind of addicted to doing it. You're, I think you're more social in quarantine than I am in like non quarantine life. Well, it's, you got to stay active. I mean, I just need to have like, real, you know, conversations. Yeah, yeah. You have conversations on the phone more often than I do. You're constantly on the phone, whether it's business or your brother or two. yeah, like two people, but I'm, I'm not on the phone. So we're kind of waiting on the kids to do homework and schoolwork and whatnot. Kaylee and Abby are upstairs. I'm probably going to pull out the watercolor again, just cause I don't have anything else to do. I am, what am I doing later today? So later today, a friend of ours just started working at our elementary school and they have what's called an acorn award for a volunteer at the school that has done the most for the school. Kind of like, just like a morale booster kind of award. And two of our friends have got it in the past and everyone usually goes down to the school and presents the award as a surprise. and kind of gets together a little gift package and you know, it's all kind of fun. But now we're in quarantine, <laughs> we can't actually go down to the school and do that for her. And so she just still doesn't know about it today. And so all of us friends are gonna make little signs and um, get in our cars and meet at a park and then drive up to her house and just do a car honking, congratulations, you won this award kind of a thing. One of the members of the PTA is one of our friends as well. So she's the one who's allowed to present the award to her officially. And so she's kind of helping us coordinate that whole thing. So I kind of need to make a little congratulations sign for her. And then I'll probably go out and grab her a little treat and a snack kind of a thing to give to her when we go for our car ride. It's like five o'clock, but that's all I have planned for today. So I might watercolor. I don't even have a video to edit. I haven't filmed for like two days. Where did it go? Oh, I'll show you. So I stole and chased Chelsea's little thing. Today after she does homework, I might see if she wants to join me. So she's got her paper in here. And then she's got her travel one. Last night she stole the travel one while I used just basic colors and I just put them in a little palette like this. And then she's got her paint brushes right here. So I think I'm gonna get this out again. And then you just, well, you don't close that. You turn it around. Can you move that box, Ashley? Do you want to paint with me? Yeah. Yeah, you do. I'm doing me. Oh, you're going to organize the colors. So this, after I, Ash tells you got all of her birthday presents opened up, Abby brought down from one of her little kits in her bedroom that she decluttered. And it was literally filled with all the supplies that I just got Kate, Chelsea for her birthday. I mean, look, this is what I just gave her for her birthday. And this whole bucket was filled with all these plates. <laughs> and I was like, Abby, why don't you tell me about this? And she's like, well, why don't you tell me about all the birthday presents? And I wouldn't have, you wouldn't have had to buy them all. So we just need to get a bigger baggie and put them all together. And then you put this little thing up here and then it holds the paper on. I need to start taping it on more. And then you just sit here and paint and I turn on Netflix and it's quite awesome. All right, I got my paper set up. You can't really see, but I've drawn some waves here. I watch a little tutorial while I do it, <laughs> try and figure out how to do it. But then I also watch Netflix. So it's like multitasking and trying to relax. And I'm probably going to have Chelsea coming back down here to work through some more math homework. So it's kind of like I need to keep everything on pause, like able to pause kind of a scenario so that I can keep playing mom and that's kind of the nice thing with watercolors is that I can stop midway and just kind of put things down if I need to and then come back to it because it doesn't really matter and I hear Chelsea so I bet she has oh yep okay so you have your answers okay good so go get your computer and we can put it into the 
computer as your response. Okay? Maybe we have to like do that as a response or something. Yeah, this is one of your responses. Okay? I totally called it. <laughs> totally called it. And this, I'm pulling it back up. I just can't. And this has already gone flat right here. Well, I mean it's not, but anyway, it's going up. a little while I've been doing some other things having lunch and whatnot this is my painting so far I don't know from a distance you can tell their waves but up close I'm still got some skills to learn so I'm gonna add some more blue up here kind of bring it down a little bit more but I don't know it's fun to practice I don't know it's hard to fill up your days unless you're watching TV and so I don't want to organize another closet or fix another appliance so I'm just trying to occupy myself the kids are done with their homework and kind of relaxing and enjoying their time I'll, sh I'll show you what Ashley's doing it's actually really cute well you got up you're having Cheerios yes. apparently yes. did you have lunch yes. dad got you lunch okay so you're just having Cheerios so she was sitting over here I'm, I'm sad I didn't catch it but she was sitting over here and she had her slime. You can see all the little beads all over the floor. But she had like all of her doll stuff set up. She had her iPad set up. But she was playing and doing slime. But you were really cute sitting there. You have fun? And you're just enjoying your quiet time. Should we play another game with Dad? Yeah. You have your snack and then we can call Dad down? Yes? Dad's asleep. Did you check? No. I bet he's asleep too. All right, so Jason never woke up. <laughs> we have been trying for the past hour and a half to get him out of bed. He is never gonna go to sleep tonight. I get the need for a nap. We're not sleeping well at night, so I totally get it, but I ended up playing games with the kids and working on my painting a little bit more. Abby was kind of curious, so she was kind of watching me. But I've gotta run to Target really quick to get a little gift for my friend that we're gonna go and celebrate and then we'll do a drive-by and say hi to her. Chelsea, and then I'm gonna go pick up Chelsea at home and we're gonna go out. Um, she had a hard time at school, AKA homeschool today. It's just hard to like manage all the kids, like all their homework and all the links and everything. And Ashley's is super easy and Kaylee and Abby's, I don't even like know how they keep up with it, to be honest. But Chelsea, but they do. They're managing it just fine. Chelsea is like in three different locations and then it's actually in like four different locations. And I have all the screens on her up, pulled up on her computer screen, but like she wants to be independent with it. She sees her older sisters being independent and doing it in their rooms and doing their own thing. And so she wants to be like that. And so she'll just take her computer and she'll check off the things that are in her, you know, activity cart, cart for her, you know, from her teacher and she thinks she's done. And I just realized today, sorry, that was a lot of explaining. I realized today, I kept figuring, trying to figure out why she couldn't understand how to do the math. Cause she would just, what they call exit tickets. And, and it's, you know, obviously after you've watched a video lesson and practiced it, then you take the exit quiz kind of thing. And I couldn't figure it out because she couldn't figure out these problems every single day this week. And I was like, where's the video that explains all of this that, <laughs> to you? And she's like, I don't know. It just, the only video I watched was an introduction telling me that I needed to do my math. And there was no tutorial on how to do the math. And it goes back to one spreadsheet that maps out the entire week. And you have to download it so that the links work to the websites that you need to watch the YouTube videos for the math tutorials. <laughs> like, oh my crap. We have five YouTube videos and five math lessons to watch. And she just burst into tears when we realized it. Cause it's Thursday, you guys, it's Thursday. And she hasn't watched a single one. And so all of her math that she's turned in so far is all I think I got some of them right with her when I was trying to help her, but she has to go through. And so she's done 
two of the four so far. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Thursday. But I told her if we don't do at least one more today, she's gonna have three to do tomorrow because Friday we'll add one more. And so um, she just kind of melted down. All that explanation. She melted down, she started crying. It's a little overwhelming. And I told her just for right now, she needs to have my help. We need to kind of go through this and practice it together and do, you know, that kind of thing. And so she, and I told her, I said, that was kind of rough. I'll take you for a treat later today. I could just pick her something up, but I think she needs to get out of the house. So we'll go for, I don't know what she said. She wanted a smoothie or something, but that's my plan for the night. That was a lot of explaining, but that explaining, but that's where, like when I wasn't on camera, that's what I was doing for like two hours with her. I was watching and rewatching and listening to a book she's listening to. I don't remember what it is, but we'd have to listen to this and watch this video and do this math and work and and I Hopefully she can get it to the point where she understands she really needs to watch these videos Take some notes practice the problems and then go and do the math exit ticket so Anyway So we've got all of our cars lined up. I've got one more ahead of me I've got kids hanging out the roof. Oh, you can't see them back there. Our friend is going to leave the little sign on the door and then doorbell ditch. Yeah, she's getting her sign out. <laughs> There's her kids. So apparently we are going back over one more time. I don't know if you can see the cars behind me. They're wanting to, she wants to capture it on camera. So we're gonna do one more loop. So she can catch us all honking our horns and driving around. She just lives in this little Hold this back, so we're just gonna loop back around the street. It's kind of fun. You know, it's not what we wanted to do to help celebrate people, but figure out how to do it in a new way. We love you! <laughs> Chelsea, mm -hmm. did we sneak away? Well, I mean, they knew we left, huh? <laughs> we said we're leaving. You got your kids' meal? Mm -hmm. We got it free, huh? Yeah, so that worked out to my advantage. But they messed up and gave me a <laughs> diet coke, which you a hate. A diet coke, so now I'm going to drop that off to my friend. She said she has a late night of work to do because she kind of took off this afternoon to go with us to do the whole dropping off our award presents to our friend. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do some more watercolor tonight and I'll show you the end picture of it. But then I think we're going to be done for the night because this girl has <laughs> math homework to work on when we get home. So we can catch up and then be ready to go for an easy Friday. Okay. <laughs> okay? Fine. You can stay up a little bit, not late, but like you can stay up and work on it if that's what you're doing. Oh. Goober. It's my fault, so I... Took her you out for like one. like at them. least 11 things you're supposed to I didn't to. miss 11. I missed yeah, there's four videos. Videoed. No, I missed four. Mm, there was like for this week. Ten. No. Yeah. Alright, I'll show you my painting at home. Mm. Alright, before I show you what I'm drawing, Ashley, well, it's not Ashley's project. This is Abby's project, and I want to film her because it's super cute. It's okay, so let's explain, explain this. You got this in the mail today, yeah. right? Let me show a close-up of it. So she babysits for this little girl Paisley, and so she sent this letter to Abby today, and it's, Abby, you wanna say what they are here? That's her punching the robber. This is a rainbow. This is chocolate world, this is lemonade world, and this is bubblegum world. Mom labeled each of the different worlds all the way around. I just, so, so cute. So you babysit Paisley and her little, yeah. and her older brother and her younger sister. And so, Abby, what are you doing? Baking it. She's making it. Oh my them. gosh. Seriously, look at this, you guys. So she has bubblegum world. It starts here. It starts at the top. And, and then the cops and robber world, because that's all they play. Rainbow worlds. Okay. Chocolate world and lemon world. So then she added, like, move back three, name your favorite candy mm. to move on. And then the, she's drawing on little candy bars right here and there and then little lemons, and then the finish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish painting and coloring it, and then I'm gonna laminate each individual piece, 
and then we'll either have to drop it off at their house or mail it. So if they're still out of town, we're gonna go ahead and mail this because I'm, I'm gonna have to go get an envelope and they're, mail it in a good package because they're, what'd she say? Oh uh, yeah, they went to one of their parents' house. So um, we'll mail it because like, but the sad thing is now we're not gonna see her look, Abby. Well, we can, she can film it. Oh, that's a good idea. Should we have her film her? Have mom film the reaction. I think she's such a cute little. She's kid. so cute. I mean, their whole family is super cute. She's like smaller than me. She's not even like. That's well, she's, she's only like, like three, she's four. No, I think she's four older. Yeah. Than so anyway, so cute. Abby is a very creative person and very kind to do this for her little babysitter friend. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna sit down and finish my watercolor. That's what it looks like so far, but I'm gonna add the white. We're adding like white foam all along here, and then you kind of splatter it down here onto the sand, and then you kind of do little streaks, and I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. All right, so Abby's game is all done. We laminated it so that it's nice and durable. I don't have a big enough laminator to do all of it at once, but this will make it easy to kind of pack up. You like it, Ash? Mm -hmm. Abby did it a really good. It's super easy. You just have to fold, fold it. it up, and then you just have to put it in a random box. Well, maybe we should just give her a little folder she can put it in. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good idea. All right, so there is my final piece. That took me like all afternoon, <laughs> but we stopped a lot. Anyway, I had fun learning some new techniques and kind of show you up close all the little sand and rock and water splashes there. I don't know, my technique is getting better over time. I don't know, it's kind of fun to learn. So the girls wanna play a game, then we're gonna put them to bed and we're gonna get some downtime. So that is it, we were all very creative today. I'm really excited. Found out just a little bit ago that the family is going to be back on Saturday. So we can deliver that in person and maybe we'll get the little family a little treat or something. So that was fun for Abby to work on today and it was fun for me to work on my little art project that back there. Abby or Ashley just said, you could do like all these framed pictures of all your beach. <laughs> Maybe that's the only way I'm going to get to the beach this year. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and maybe you're inspired to learn something new. It's taken me a little while during this quarantine to get to the point where I wanted to do a craft project. I was kind of wallowing in my misery for a little bit and then I went through the organization phase and now I'm kind of into a creative stage during all this. So let me know what you guys are doing during lockdown or maybe in the future if you are not doing lockdown, what are you learning how to do or curious about doing um, yourself but don't dare because I had no idea how to watercolor until just a few days ago. So you never know. Give it a try. Okay, take care. Bye.